step to a reasoning so we are entering into the fourth uh, reasoning that is a common sense reasoning so the common sense uh, common sense reasoning uh, is that gain through the experience whatever we are uh, nowadays uh, we are discussing that if we do this work uh, we have to suffer like this so the day to day performance whatever we are performing that can be considered the common sense of reasoning so here we are gained through the experiences whatever the human can getting the experiences that can be comes under the common sense of reasoning so this real good judgment rather than exact logic or operate on heuristic knowledge and heuristic rule so here we are taken the example is one person can be at one place at a time so with the help of this uh, premise we can say that only the one person can be at one place the if uh, one person is place it uh, they they are uh, arrive at x place they cannot they cannot be available in the y place so the statement is a uh, right for ex the next example is if i put my hand in a fire then it will be burn so it is a truth statement why because if we put your hand in your fire then definitely we will burn so the real time of the observations whatever we are real life observations here we are having that can be comes under the common sense reasoning so the fifth one monotonic reasoning so the monotonic reasoning is the most important reasoning in this the monotonic is a sense that anything that could be concluded before a class is added can be still concluded after it is added so for example here we are the monotonic reasoning is nothing but for example if you are taking the one statement and then we can conclude if we add another statement for that uh, statement then the conclude uh, conclude uh, conclusion of the statement uh, should be same same then that is called a uh, monotonic reasoning for example if you are taken uh, rama placed in for particular exa particular company like uh, sintel rama placed in sintel that is a one statement so we can say the conclusion is rama placed in a company sintel that is a conclusion so and then we are adding a, another statement for that rama taken the help of uh, help from rani to get placed we are adding another statement for that but the conclusion is rama placed in sintel company that is a conclusion so here we are taken first we are taken the one statement and then we conclude the statement so both are the same and then we are added the rani helps to rama to get the uh, to get placed in sintel company so we are adding a new statement for the particular statement then also the conclusion is a rama placed in sintel company so when we are adding a new information particular that statement then the conclusion will not be changed the conclusion is the previously whatever we are taken that is the final conclusion then that type of reasoning is called a monotonic reasoning so that's why we can say that adding a knowledge does not reduce the set of preposition that can be derived so why we are saying adding the knowledge does not reduce so previously we are taking the one statement rama placed in sintel company and then uh, second statement is rani helps to uh, place in uh, sintel company so when we are adding a second statement with the help uh, second statement what is that rani helps to rama to get placed so when we are adding a knowledge does not reduce the set of the preposition so when we are adding dintlo manam em chestunnam oka preposition add chesina padiki dantlo manaki derivation lo vachina atuvanti conclusion lo manaki atuvanti changes anedi raledu kabatti then that type of reasonings ni manam em cheptam ante monotonic reasoning antam next all facts are already present to solve a problem so for particularly if you want to get any concluded if you want to conclude any statement then that can be then that conclusion conclusion statements can be all already present to solve the problem and then method of the reasoning under consists complete unchanging and uncertain facts so here whatever the content and whatever the uh, premises we are taken that can be unchanging and certain facts so whatever the facts we are having that facts can be the conclusion of the final conclusion so monotonic reason here we are having only the one um, only uh, the different only the disadvantage is not effective for the real time systems why we are saying 
the monotonic reasoning is not uh, applicable for real time system the real time systems means the if the facts of the real time system is basically changes day by day or minute by minute or uh, time by time hour by hour so when when the real time systems is uh, changing probably we can't take conclusion perfectly that's why we are saying that the uh, monotonic reasoning is uh, not useful or not applicable for the real time system so here we are taking the example is earth revolves around the sun so ikkada manam em cheptnamu earth anatvanti earth anadi sun ki ఇలా మనం చుట్టూ తిరుగుతూ ఉంటుంది ఈ స్టేట్మెంట్ ని మనం ఎలా రాసుకోవచ్చు ద మూన్ రివాల్వ్స్ అరౌండ్ ద ఎర్త్ ఎర్త్ ఈస్ నాట్ అరౌండ్ ఇట్లా మనకి వేరే వేరే స్టేట్మెంట్స్ రాసుకున్నప్పటికీ కూడా మనకి మీనింగ్ ఏమైనా వస్తుంది కన్క్లూజన్ ఈస్ ద సేమ్ సో దెన్ దట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ రీజనింగ్స్ వీ కెన్ సే దట్ మోనోటోనిక్ రీజనింగ్ సో దీంట్లో మనకి సో హియర్ వీ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ ద అడ్వాంటేజెస్ అండ్ డిస్అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎ మోనోటోనిక్ రీజనింగ్ సో ద అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎ మోనోటోనిక్ రీజనింగ్ ఈస్ వరల్డ్ proof will always be remain valid so whatever the we are having the world proofs here we are having that should be the valid why we are saying the world proof is valid with the help of the existing data whatever we are taking the existing data for getting a conclusion that can be we can say that a world proof without knowing the existing data we can't conclude the statements so the next one is deduce some facts so what is meant by the deduce reduction so substitute so here we are deducing the fact why because valid deduction which remains so always so always next one the, the disadvantages of a monotonic reasoning so the monotonic reasoning already we said it is not applicable in a real world scenarios why because the uh, real world uh, scenarios the premises will be changes time by time so the next one is the hypothesis knowledge cannot be expressed hypothesis knowledge cannot be expressed with monotonic reasoning which means facts should be true why because hypothesis knowledge cannot be expressed means whatever we are taken the conclusion whatever we are taken the statement must be true in this we can say that with the help of these premises we can say that is it is a conclusion is true but not be the perfectly true since we are already derived a new knowledge from a real world cannot be added so here we are uh, disc- here we are implementing a new knowledge from the real world cannot be added so for example here we are taken only the new knowledge but not be the real cannot be added realistic world cannot be added to the monotonic reasoning and then we enter into the non monotonic reasoning so the non monotonic reasoning is useful for representing defaults a default is a true that can be used unless it is overridden by the exception so what is meant by the exception default uh, whatever for example uh, a logic non monotonic reasoning is a if some conclusions can be invalidated by adding a more knowledge previously monotonic reasoning what we said if we adding a any in any valid statement for that then conclusion may not conclusion not be changed whatever the conclusion we are given that conclusion is a final conclusion whereas in non monotonic reasoning for example if you are taking the one statement we are getting a conclusion is a uh, first time and then we are adding a another statement or another premises for that and then we can changes the concluded then we can say that is a non monotonic reasoning so the non monotonic reasoning is useful for representing default uh, defaulting a default is a true that can be used unless it is a overridden by the exception so the reasoning here we are using a default statements the default statement is useful when we know the uh, particular reason of the task if we, the default is that if we get the default uh, default reason from the particular task then only the exception will be arises otherwise the exception can cannot be required the default is a constant so we are saying that here we are here we are discuss here we are taken uh, what is that birds can fly penguins cannot fly pt is a bird so birds can fly what we say birds uh, birds can fly all birds can fly so penguin is also a one type of the uh, bird but penguin is not a fly so, cannot fly so here we are taken pt is a bird the pt is not a bird name but we can say that pt is a just name 
So here, if we are considering the pity as a bird, we can say the statement is pity can fly. Otherwise, if you are taking pity as a penguin, we can say that cannot be fly. So here we are taking the three statement, the conclusion statement, we are getting a two type of statement that is a pity is a penguin and pity cannot fly. Why? Because pity, if you are considering the pity as a bird, we can say that pity can fly. Otherwise, we are considered the pity as a penguin, we can say that penguin is a, uh, penguin is cannot fly. So we can say that pity cannot uh, fly. So, that is a non-monotonic reasoning. In this non-monotonic reasoning, which rules the inferences are extended to make the possible reason with incomplete information. So, the non why we are saying that here, the conclusion here were taken, the conclusion is not perfectly alright. So, the, uh, the conclusion is not perfectly alright. So, in this, why we are saying the conclusion is not perfectly alright, we are not having a perfect uh, we are not having a reasoning information. So, here we are not using a complete information. We are having incomplete information. That is why we are saying that we are having a uh, not perfectly conclusion in the non-monotonic reasoning. So, at any given moment, a rule, uh, a rule is either believed to be true false not believed to be either so in this non monotonic reasoning if your conclusion statement is either it may be a true false or both then that type of uh, reasoning is called a non monotonic reasoning so the advantages and disadvantages of a non monotonic reasoning so advent what is the what is the advantages of uh, uh, non monotonic reasoning real world system the non monotonic reasoning can be used in a real world systems why because uh, such as a robot navigation, non-monotonic, uh, we can use a non-monotonic reasoning. So, the next one is a probabilistic facts or can make assumption. So, in this, the non-monotonic reasoning can be used in a, a probabilistic facts and can make a assumptions. And then, the, no, the, the disadvantages of non-monotonic reasoning, old facts may be invalidated by adding a new sentence. So, previously in monotonic reasoning, only the old statements are the valid for uh, conclusion in this the non monotonic reasoning whatever we are taking the whole statement may not be invalidated by adding a new statement when we are adding a new statement then no need of the old uh, facts and then we are this that is a the non monotonic reasoning cannot be used in a theorem proving that is the non monotonic reasoning no so now we are uh, uh, discussing about difference between inductive and deductive reasoning. So, in this the inductive and deductive reasoning, so here we are taking the one type of argument. So, e argument lo manam deductive this kunam, inductive this kunam. So, e deductive lo manam kemundi mali valid undi, invalid undi. Ikada inductive lo manam strong, weak and this kunam, ikada sound and unsound is chesam. So,